Welcome to another shortwave radio video where we tune the bands and um, of course we'll be doing them with different radios so you'll have the full experience and possibly with a radio you already own so maybe you'll, you'll learn something out of this and learn a little more about your radio. What is there to listen to between 13,000 and 14,000 kilohertz exactly? So that band is divided into two portions pretty much bottom part is utilities of all sorts so it could be um, marine broadcasts it could be aeronautical it could be all sorts of things that you might hear around there there's a lot of utility stations packed on that frequency range and also at the top part of it up after we uh, move on after the 22 meter band international broadcast so it does contain also an international broadcast band that is used quite often by a lot of stations so let's check it out let's tune around i will start in upper sideband for a very simple reason it is the best way to actually get uh, some of the utility stations and we'll move on to a am mode in the international broadcast band so let's uh, check it out and see what we'll actually hear on the 13,000 to 14,000 kilohertz frequency range. Once again, if you kind of find that it's quiet, take the time to listen to the band regularly because it's uh, you're going to be rewarded with signals in here. So let's start tuning an upper sideband with the Texan H501X at uh, 2110 UTC, February 20th. 2022 here in Montreal using of course the outdoor MLA 30 loop Thirteen two hundred is one of those frequencies of the uh, U.S. Global Command that sometimes can be active with uh, messages from the U.S. Air Force. Thirteen two seventy is uh, Gander, Newf Newfoundland, Canada, at the twentieth uh, and fiftieth minute of each hour. Usually, can hear it quite well here. Thirteen two seven zero. You can sometimes also get the uh, thirteen two six four frequency uh, if you listen uh, from time to time. Uh, this one thirteen two six four contains the um, Shannon Aeronautical Volmet. Also on the bottom part, uh, as we go back here, on the bottom part around 13089, you might be hearing some of the U.S. Coast Guard stations that broadcast, uh, particularly here 13089 is one of the frequencies you hear them a lot, so uh, depending on the schedules, uh, the next broadcast if I look here is at uh, 2130, it's actually in uh, 15 minutes from now, there should be something here on 13089. So uh, that is uh, something to look for. can come from Chesapeake, Virginia. There's also some broadcasts there from uh, Point Reyes, California. Um, there's some from uh, Honolulu in Hawaii. There's Guam. So there are quite a few uh, marine, U.S. Coast Guard marine stations on 13089, depending on the time of day you're listening.
13300, I've often heard some um, aeronautical communications. Uh, 13300 and 13306 are, um, we're in kind of in the aeronautical band here. So you might hear Gander. Reaching 13,500. I'm going to go on a little more because usually most broadcasts don't start at at least 13,580 or ish. But I want to talk about one particular frequency that has a lot of people wondering what it is, and it's 13,560. So here you hear beeps. If I put myself in AM mode, you'll hear a different type of kind of a very weird signal of all sorts on 13560 you could hear squeals beeps all sorts of things like this for example we can hear all sorts of beeps looks like a video game so 13560 is a scientific um, medical and scientific instrumentation frequency what you hear in on 13560 is almost always local to you it could be an hospital it could be a business with all sorts of scientific measurements instruments that are sending telemetry and even some rfid all sorts of things like that so 13560 is really that frequency and um, like I said, pretty much all the time, what you hear, if you hear beeps and squeals and wonder what they are, they're local to you. And one of the fun things you could do is uh, try to chase them down uh, to what building, what area. Sometimes you can maybe uh, do this with a little portable radio and just going around, talk, walking around and trying to see where the signals are getting stronger or not. You'll often see that uh, businesses and schools, um, hospitals... Uh, there's a lot of, uh, of of instrumentation that is used here. So let's put ourselves in AM mode for the 22 meter band scanning. One of the very popular international broadcast bands, by the way. It's a little weak here with noise, but uh, this is probably China Radio from Mali, 13630. 13680. Radio Vanek, Cuba. WWCR 13845 actually overloading it's so strong it's distorted overloading the radio Josh, when there's Look at that. something important about the laying on of hands I rarely have an overload of the text in here but this one deck really really overloaded the radio what exactly that I had to bring down the RF sensitivity to a local look at that even at a local setting it's still very very strong first and foremost pretty crazy so for the rest let's tune around most of the rest in upper sideband for a lot of utility stuff that's possible here's some uh, radio teletype style signal This uh, is registered as the U.S. Navy STANAG frequency uh, in the west coast of uh, North America. The 
you might hear on 13881, all right, 13880, some weather facts coming out of uh, Pindenburg, um, Germany. Uh, often comes in here in uh, the East Coast. Here's a very weird signal. An extremely bizarre signal here. Lots of Russian number stations are popping up around this frequency range. And we are just below the 20 meter amateur band of 14 megahertz. So there often are Civil Air Patrol and Mars nets near these frequencies also. So here. If you do hear some Mars nets, uh, don't be surprised around that area. There's also the Japanese weather facts, which is very difficult to get in North America, but um, if you do hear weather facts, 13987, you're hearing Japanese weather facts station. And before we leave, as the time is, let's check it out. If 13270 earlier was had nothing on, propagation is not very good for that frequency. You can hear it a little bit. This is the Gander. Gander, Newfoundland, Canada, probably skipping over me a little bit. So that's uh, what you have between 13,000 and 14,000 kilohertz tuned with the Texan H501X. Hope you enjoy these videos. If you do, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. And don't forget, more of these videos coming up, but with your favorite radio maybe, so you'll be able to follow along and do the same maneuvers as I do on your favorite receiver. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.